Let me show you how an engine actually sits in an engine bay using these. Now let's pretend this is a four cylinder and a six cylinder engine. They sit up very high in the engine bay. High center of gravity and if they weren't held up by the car you could pretty much walk over and tip them over. It's not hard. But Subaru's boxer engine sits very low with a low center of gravity and if you want to kick it over pretty much couldn't. In fact you'd have to get underneath it and flip it. Today we're going to have a little demonstration. Just try and tip this one over with your foot. Tip the engine over. Mm -hmm. Looks a bit heavy. We'll try the six cylinder engine, see how it goes there. This is a bit bigger. About 250 kilos. Yeah, it's going to be a bit harder, I think. Oh, no. Let's try the Suru engine. Okay. See if you can push that one over. I can't move it at all. Inside the engine, our pistons move on a horizontal plane. So all of our weight's down low. So with this engine, it's low profile and has a low centre of gravity. Whereas the centre of gravity is quite high with the inline engine. Yes, so it's easy to fall over. If you look at the inline engine, the suspension and the cross member and the engine mounts have to work to hold the engine up. Whereas on the boxer engine, it pretty much holds itself up. And why is it called a boxer? Okay, horizontally, we've got three pistons out the left, three pistons out the right, going in this sort of fashion. Uh -huh. And of course, all Subarus have boxer engines. Yeah, definitely. Four-cylinder, six-cylinder, and the turbo cars.